All the assets used in this project are linked in the description. Start by adding an Area 2D node to your player character. As a child of this Area 2D node, add a collision shape 2D. Create a new shape and resize it to fit the area of your player character. Next select your Area 2D, head over to node on the right side and then select Groups. Add the Area 2D node to a group called Player. Repeat these steps for everything that you want the player to collide with. In my case this will be an enemy and a coin. Make sure to add each Area 2D to a relevant group. My enemy character area, I've added it to a group called enemy. And for my coin area, I've added it to a group called coin. Next go back to your player, select your Area 2D and go on over to signals. Go down to the area entered signal, double click it and connect it to your player script. This function will be called when the player's Area 2D collides with another Area 2D. If we put a print statement in here and make it say something like collided and then run our project, we can see that it prints whenever we collide with another object. However, the problem with this is we're not taking into account what objects we are colliding with. Luckily, this is very easy to fix. Head back to the player script and go back down to the Area 2D signal. We're going to remove the print statement and replace it with these two lines of code. The first line of code checks if the area that we are colliding with is in the group called coin. If it is, then we're going to print coin collected. We can do the same thing for the enemy, but this time we're going to print hit enemy. Now if we run our code, we can see that we get different results for different object collisions. Consider checking out this tutorial next.